Sandy Alnock, and this is week three of Advent. I'm doing a background series and using some Christmas carols as some inspiration. This one, I've already created some pine boughs in my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook just to practice them. And the hymn that was running through my head as I was thinking about joy was, O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. And I, it really got me thinking about the word triumphant being associated with Christmas. So I chose the verse from Psalm 20, verse 5. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. And the reason that this got me going was the baby is the joy of the incarnation, but it's not necessarily the victory yet. We've got a while to go as we wait for Easter to come. But I know we always in the church talk about victory in Christ and that he came to die for our sins, but it just kind of struck me as interesting that when we're talking about the baby, we also use the term victory. So that's what I thought I would kind of do a little page all about the victory. I'm doing pine boughs and they're really easy to do. I'm just using some colored pencils, make the main line that runs through the pine bough and then do some flick marks with your pencil in two directions off of the base. And it's just really, really, really easy. It looks really cool if you make a whole bunch of them clustered together. And if you make them a little more spread out and don't have them kind of clumped together, it can look like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So that would be kind of cool if you needed something for a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I, I did actually a Charlie Brown tree in one of last year's Advent videos. So you can look at the playlist if you're interested in that when you're finished watching this video. I'll have it linked at the end. But you can see how easy they are to create. I'm gonna show you a way to make a really soft background across the page as I get this finished because I kind of wanted a little bit of depth in here. I wanted some dark branches up in the front and then I wanted a lighter set of branches and then have it all kind of fade off in the background. And so I started by putting in these heavy branches in the front first. Often I'll do the darkest part last, but for whatever reason, I went darkest part first, so there you go. But I will go over and do some more of it as I kind of develop the rest of the page. Now I took a lighter green and I'm creating a lighter type of coloring here in the background for those more distant branches so I can get that feeling of having some depth. But even that, I, I started feeling like it wasn't enough. So I decided to use a technique that I taught in the Color Pencil Jumpstart class. And that is to take a tea strainer, and I'll just take off the top. I leave it actually with the tea strainer because otherwise the dogs will get hold of this and chew it up, I'm sure, if they can find it. And then spread the pencil around by, by rubbing it into the tea strainer, basically using it as a really fine grater. And I even decided I was going to use some darker green as well and use both colors together. You can do this with all different kinds of colors. And with my cotton ball, I'm just going to knock out the rest of the color that's in the tea strainer and spread it out by pressing it into the paper. It's gonna be super light. So if you want a darker color, you need to pick a really, really rich dark color and have some patience to sit there and put a few layers on. But I just wanted it to be soft. So this worked perfect for what I was doing. And using a cotton ball to spread it is super easy and super inexpensive. I'm all about not spending a fortune on supplies. So this is a really great technique to use for that. So I went back in then with my pencils and I'm using my polychromos pencils here to put a few darker branches in the very front. And as you can see, I'm developing some depth because I have a couple different greens and I'm not hitting every single branch by recoloring over every one of them. And it just gave me a really nice realistic look to them. I'm keeping my lettering pretty simple. The word joy is gonna be in colored pencil. And I'm going over it a couple times to try to get the width of the letters, the thickness of them to be about the same throughout the whole word. And this is something that I do because I'm not a professional fancy letterer. I basically just do some nice 
I call it typography rather than lettering, because lettering people think of as that fancy, beautiful cursive script stuff that you do with a brush pen, and I can't do that. But if you're interested in learning how to clean up your own text and do the kinds of things that I'm doing here by making your widths the same, making your letters stack nicely, etc. There's a class over at art-classes.com and it's called Typography for Bible Journalers and it'll help you to kind of figure out what you want to do with your lettering and how to use your own handwriting so that it looks nicer than maybe your own handwriting already does. It just gives you some tips on cleaning it up but God gave you your handwriting because he wanted you to write the way he made you. So there's no need to try to take fancy lettering and try to be just like everybody else. So the Micron pen did the rest of the black lettering, and then I'm taking a white pen to add snow because I love adding snow onto things when it's Christmas. And that little line that came up from the joy turned the word joy into an, or at least the letter O into an ornament. And the word in is part of the ornament. We could even fill in the whole O and then write in on it in maybe white pen or something. But I just love how this one came out. Really simple and has room for my own private journaling down below. So sometimes I don't actually show all the journaling that I do because it can get personal. And there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll be back next week for one more in the Advent series. And that will be just a couple days before Christmas. So take some time to spend with the Lord before then. And I will see you next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.